Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little thrift haul, fall haul thrift haul. Um, I recently got some goodies, a not so minimal <laughs> um, haul that I wanted to show you guys what I got. I've been like, I've been kind of thrifting more lately. I've I, I've always loved Goodwill, but like Goodwill's been my best friend in vintage shopping, and I've been going on the side of the street and getting things that look good that people are throwing away. Who am I? I'm gonna show you guys my late uh, my latest purchases. Um, everything here was under two hundred dollars, under under one hundred and fifty dollars for all this stuff. Um, I went to Marshalls, and then I also went to Goodwill. Goodwill. Girl, I spent under thirteen dollars for all this for all the stuff that I got. So anyway, let's get into the video. Got my LaCroix. I what do I want to show first? Let's just go into the big bins or the big bags that I got. Marshalls is where I did most of my damage. Um, but I wanted to kind of switch up my room a little bit. Um, I was actually gonna use this for the guest room, but then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna freshen up my room and then I'll put the sheets that I have on in our guest room. So that worked out. Um, so I just got some new pillows. I am refreshing our guest room. Got, I kind of mentioned this in a video prior, um, but uh, family's going to be coming to visit us. So I want to get our guest room ready and get it super comfortable. And I wanted to switch it up. Um, but I got some pillow cases. Um, I needed to get some new ones. The ones that I had on our bed, on the bed in the guest room. Um, were like my old pillowcases that I had my whole life, <laughs> pretty much. Um, so I invested in some new pillowcases. Um, nothing special. I think these are, these are Nautica. Um, and they feel really good. So, um, that's that. And then I got another thing of pillowcases. I think this is a different brand, but, um, beauty rest I don't know they were 20 bucks it's a it's a bit softer I want to give them like a an option between like a, a more sturdy um dur like harder pillow I guess or firmer pillow and then a soft because some people like both I have both on my bed the ones that I sleep on usually are the harder ones and then I kind of like to like squish up against the soft pillow um so I got a different brand it's like really bright so you can't really see too much but yeah pillow cases this cute pillow what is this like a I don't even know what kind of pillow this is called <laughs> but um super cute green and it has these stripes in the middle of it I need to take this off because I want to wash it you don't know who's been putting their face up against this thing somebody could have returned this but it's cool because it has a pillow cover you can also change it out like through seasons um and buy your own pillow covers if you'd like so let me take this tag off um next i got a oh yeah i forgot i got this um so i wanted right now um for my spoons and like that i use to cook with um utensils i use to cook with um i have like it in an old cookie jar or in a cookie jar that i have and i wanted i've been finding i saw somebody on what did i find I'm not find i saw somebody on my instagram i can't remember what creator it was but she used a pot, like a pot that you plant with to put her utensils in. So I was like, let me do that. So I got this really cute beige. It has like speckles on it. You can't quite see it. The lighting is not really showing it. But it's like ridged on the sides. Super cute. I like it. So I'm going to see how that looks. If I don't end up liking it, I can just put it out in my garden and use it for something else. Um, but yeah. Cute. Bowls. I've been looking for some stainless steel bowls. Finally found some. I would like a bigger one. Um, but I found these two. They were $4.99 each. So really nice. Simple bowls. Nothing too special. Um, but I've been on a hunt for some and they've just been so expensive. I knew that Marshalls would would not disappoint. Um, the only thing is I just wish that I could. I wish they came in different, like bigger sizes, but they just didn't have any in stock. Um, so that, which I'm most excited about. Um, these are um, queen sheet sets, and I'm gonna. And I ended up uh, like wanting just to put it on my bed. I was gonna put it on the guest room bed, but I'm like, this is so cute, um, and it's so folly. So 
I got these, they're like flowers. Um, it's gray and then like with flowers all over it. You can't see it too well, but you can kind of see the pattern there. So cute and they were for 20 bucks. So I am excited. I just realized that this thing is on there. I have to figure out, they never, I'm surprised that the thing didn't go off when I went outside. Uh, so I may have to just cut into the, the top part or something. But yeah, $20 y'all. So um, hopefully they are, feel as good as they cost. <laughs> um so um next i got a big duvet cover or duvet really um or quilt kind of thing is it a quilt yeah it's a quilt um it's a cream colored quilt and it's gonna go in our guest room bed and i like it this is definitely going in the guest room but i just can't figure out what i want to pair it with like what sheets i want to pair it with um but this quilt is cute it's definitely gonna need something up under it for the winter sorry i'm trying to get take this off um it's definitely gonna need something to go up under it for the winter time um just because it's not gonna be warm enough um so i've got to figure that out now that i think about it boom i think that's all from marshall actually yeah it is oh well that wasn't as much as i thought um so all of that is a steal Okay, so next, my actually I'm most excited for the thrift part of this. Um, so I went to Goodwill. Our Goodwill, we have two in our town and it, it depends on the weekend like that I go anyways. I mean, obviously they're open every day, but it depends on the weekend. But this weekend, I feel like I scored pretty well as far as home decor goes or home things. Um, but I got some things that I've been looking for, so that's good. Um, I got these really cute jars. You could use these for flower vases. I think it actually probably is a flower vase, but I wanted to start making my almond, my own almond milk, and I wanted. I've been looking for these, but they're so expensive, like the glass ones, like real glass ones. Um, so I ended up finding these in mint condition, might I add. Um, and I found two. The only thing I have to really look for is like a lid to go on top of it. But I mean, for now, I could just put some saran wrap or something on it they were in 1.99 each i got two of them um and they're the same size they are. yeah they're the same size and yeah so cute and they're both in great condition like barely any scratches can you imagine me just drinking my all almond milk or milk whatever kind of milk i decided to put in there if anyone's ever made their all their own almond milk let me know how it went for you i'm a little nervous um, but I, I'm kind of, I want to start switching over to not necessarily non-dairy. Um, I'm trying to find like a place. I actually, they sell, like we have this, I'm trying to find like a farm or something where they have like milk from the cow. Um, I'm still researching that. I need to call my dad and ask him like, is it safe to just drink from the cow? I'm sure it is. I mean, he did, he grew up doing it, but I know like like raw milk you have to like sanitize that you know so i have to kind of research how that how that that, that thing goes but i'm i've drank milk straight from a cow before but not all the time so but don't don't drink raw milk okay don't drink raw milk until you research it yourself and decide for yourself don't take it from me anyways um so the next thing i got i got these two pans i've been on the hunt for pans like this when i was little my dad had a pan kind of similar to this and he would always make cornbread out of it and i always wanted one but i could never find any or i mean i could find them but you could tell like it was like the non-stick version and i'm still i'm weary of buying non-stick things um just because of the coating on there um but and i just didn't want to buy it. it just didn't remind me but this this is like tin or whatever it's made out of and it reminds me of the one that my dad had when i was a kid so i can make cakes in here um i can do cornbread if i want to um so i've got these two these two things oh and then these were each i think oh both were 99 cents so you cannot go wrong with that next thing i have been looking for a it's like clear you can't really see it but i've been looking for a pie dish um because i want to start learning how to make my own pie crust um or even if i don't want to make my own pie crust i can still put like the crust in here um, but apple season is almost here or if here already. So 
so i want to learn how to make uh, my own apple pie and i wanted to have like a reusable pie crust like pie dish or whatever and not just buy it from the store if you do that's your business like obviously i do it but i wanted to have something that i can keep like i can make often and then also practice making my own pie crust so i found this finally um this clear pyrex is actually pyrex and I think it's actually real Pyrex. I think it's all capital letters, and I think the ones with all capital letters is real Pyrex, right? Um, so it is Pyrex, um, a Pyrex pie, pie thingy, pie pan. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. My baking finds. All right, last but not least, I think this might, this is definitely my favorite thing that I found. Y'all, I have been looking all over the world for this. This can be, look at this. I can pour sweet tea in the summer or have a cocktail in here or in here. Honestly, I could put a cocktail in here too. Um, I could put flowers in her. She can have milk in here. I mean, $7.99. Yeah, so I saw someone use something similar to this. And she put flowers in there. I'm like, oh my God, that's so cute. And then I found it. Ah, so cute. But yeah, this is so cute. This will be like a really nice centerpiece on my table. If I want to put flowers in here, I think it's more, it gives me more summer vibes. So I have to kind of figure out how to incorporate this into my fall decor. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really cute. <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this little thrift haul i'm excited to start decorating for fall let me know is it fall in your mind in your house now since it's september um i feel like it, it, it is for me um so yeah fall is fall is definitely my favorite time of year i love it i love it i love it anyways thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you on my next video bye guys